Hello Tanglers, today we're going to learn how to use the application ZFlip which we installed in the previous video. The installation will have put an icon on your desktop over on the right near the clock that looks like this. If I double click on that it will open up. I can just click on that to drag it and move it into the centre of my screen. That's my desktop. I can type into here whichever search term I'm looking for in photographs on for example we're obviously going to be looking for Zentangle. Type that in and I click on the magnifying glass or press the enter key. Immediately over 8,500 matches turn up for the search term Zentangle or photographs from Flickr. This is fantastic. I can roll over these images and I can see that there's a beautiful Christmas card if you can see that and I can see brief little previews of what each of these look like. I can click on them and then see a larger version. I'll just slide that up a little bit. A larger version of the image. Click on the image again and I'm back to the search. These little green arrows at the top here will move you left and right through the pages. Here I am at page 17. I click the right arrow. Here I am at page 18. Again just rolling over some of these images and I can see one there that I recognise. That's a face I know. If you've got Sandy Steen Bartholomew's beautiful book Totally Tangled, this is an image that you will know quite well. Again, if I click on that, we'll go back to the group of search images. There's another one here that I recognise. If I click on this one here, and then changing position all the time because the new photographs being uploaded, Constantly. This is one that I drew for my niece. If you want to look at a photograph on Flickr, just click on the View on Flickr button here and it will then take you, will open up your internet browser, there we go, and it will take you to the Flickr page of the person who uploaded it. You'll find out who they are, you might find out a little bit about the piece that you're looking at and be able to read the comments and then go down here perhaps and have a look at some of their other photographs. I'll just close that down and back here again if I click on that there we are back at the little thumbnails. A quick tip you can easily spot the Tangle instructions on these thumbnails. They're usually less dense in colour than the others. Here's three at the bottom bottom row. Here's a couple in the top left and they usually have either a grid design like this or the distinctive red and black instruction lines. So they're quite easy to spot. If I want to use ZFlick to find a particular aspect of Zentangle art, I might type something in like Zentangle Alphabet and see what I can find for that. Let's see. It's found 87 matches for Zentangle Alphabet. How about that? It's not fantastic. And again, I can roll over these. There's one of mine. That's my pay. And just have a, a quick look and see what they look like. So again, I click on one of those. See what it looks like large. I can click on the next one. See what that looks like large. And click on the image itself. And I'm back to all these small thumbnails as they're called. Another great use for this is if you're looking for interpretations of a specific tangle. Let's pick Ixorus, which is the brand new tangle that's just come out from Maria and Rick, and we'll search on that and let's see how different people have interpreted this beautiful new tangle. Um, We'll start, we'll just click on one and have a look at random. There we go. It's beautiful, it's a sense of tangulation. Here's another. Um, let's have, in fact, my mug. Um, here's the next one. And we can see how different people have interpreted this beautiful tangle that's been designed. And here, just to finish off, is a beautiful tangled tile and a beautiful tangled kite from my friend Heather in Canada. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have fun exploring Z-Flip.